Hey everybody, right now we're having a problem with our Epson Workforce WF3640. Um, I tried to make a copy of this page right here, and this is what it looks like. Definitely not enough black and some other colors are missing a little bit on the nozzle. So what we're going to do, we're going to print the nozzle check first to see which colors uh, need cleaning. We're going to press home button, go to setup, and select maintenance. Print head nozzle check, and we're going to press start. So the nozzle test printed, and we can take a look at it. Uh, we can only see the three colors, not uh, no black at all. And I know that I have Epson ink cartridges in there, um, and it's over half full. So we're going to try to clean the print head. Um, First, we're going to try to do the clean print head cycle on the printer itself by just selecting clean the print head after the, print, the nozzle check is printed. Hit proceed, and we're going to clean the black color. And we're going to give it a few, a couple minutes to do that. So the cleaning process has been finished, and it's asking if we want to print the nozzle. Uh, check pattern again. We're gonna say yes and print it and see if it changed anything. It has cleaned it up a little bit and you see some black showing up. Our previous test is up top. This is what it is right now. It's still not very good. Uh, it's supposed to have two blocks of black and it only has partial one. So I have prepared some uh, chemicals that I use for cleaning the print heads, and uh, I use a glass cleaner. It doesn't have ammonia in it, but I add some ammonia to it, so it's about eight parts cleaner. But this is a concentrate, so it's going to be, I'm going to dilute it with water. Um, we're going to put about eight parts of glass cleaner. You can use any glass cleaner, usually Windex is fine. Um, you're going to add some ammonia to it if it doesn't have any, and some people like to add about um, two parts of alcohol to the solution. So, eight parts of glass cleaner with ammonia, um, and you just put a little bit in there, and then two parts of uh, any rubbing alcohol, 70% or 90-something percent. Um, what you also need for Epson printers of this kind, uh, we're going to have a syringe. This one is only 10 milliliters and it's perfect. If you have bigger, it's fine. Smaller also, it's going to work. Um, I have this tube for aquarium, airline tubing for the aquariums, and you don't need that much. This has been just laying around. I barely use a little bit of it. <clears throat> and it's... Uh, Just standard airline tubing. I'm not sure what the diameter of it is. This is what it has in the back. Barcode, just in case you need it. This is from Walmart. So you're going to cut about one inch of the tubing. And I've had this already. I've used this before. And you're going to put it on, on the tip of the syringe. Fully tighten there. And we're going to take the solution that we have already mixed for you. We can go ahead and fill it and just set it aside. What we're going to do now is um, we're just going to say done because if we continue doing on the print, print head cleaning, it's just going to drain the ink. So we're going to say we're done here. We're going to go to the, um, we're just going to send any page to uh, print on this printer and also be ready to plug the, uh, pull the plug <clears throat> either from the outlet or from the back of the printer. Um, let's just send another nozzle check pattern, and when you hear the paper being picked up and in there, uh, let's just pull the cord as the paper exits here. We're going to open the top of the printer. We can see that this is loose and we can work with it gently without leaving any pieces. 
of paper and the printer will just pull it out make sure it's all in one piece it ripped a little but it's one piece and we're going to dispose of it now we have access to the ink cartridges we're going to go ahead and remove them our printer being off she has the ink over here so now we have an access to our print head nozzles or more tips where the ink comes in the nozzles are at the bottom now what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of paper towel and we're going to fold it to approximate length uh, width of the uh, print head we have it on the uh, test page here it's just going to be a slightly uh, more narrow than what it is on the paper since it does a couple of runs. So about one and a half inches should do. We're gonna close the slit here, slide the print head to the side, put the paper here, paper towel. It's a bit hard for me to do so <laughs> with just one hand. Um, just trying to show everything to you. So best thing is when you just press it, lift the carriage a little bit without damaging it and just make sure it's over the paper towel then what we're gonna do is best that your solution is actually warm so you can mix it with very hot water or just warm it up a little bit uh, warm up the whole solution and when we're gonna put the syringe over the nozzles we have a problem with the black one so we're gonna put it over the black nozzle I'm trying to put some light in here so it's right over the nozzle and we're going to try to gently put some air in there, uh, water solution in there. If a lot of the solution is just being out here then you most likely have a problem of just the nozzle being clogged very bad and uh, not letting any solution through but in our case we see that it went all down to the paper towel so we're going to put about five milliliters of the solution and we're just going to let it sit for a few minutes sometimes overnight if it's very badly clogged like our situation when you slide the print head over to the side this is what it approximately will look like so we're just going to continue doing that maybe five times and just drain it after it's been sitting for a while or if it's just um, slightly clogged you can just continue doing that and that should take care of it it's a good idea to wear gloves when doing this since it gets very messy Put another 10 milliliters in there. Just let it over. See what it looks like. It's becoming less black in there, so it's probably clearing up the nozzle. <clears throat> I'm gonna continue to do that about three more times. On our last uh, clean or flush through, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and clean up the area of any excess water or solution by putting a paper towel and that'll just uh, absorb <clears throat> any liquids that are down there. You don't want to leave them there. So just go ahead and do that. Looks pretty good now. I'm gonna manually slide it over off the paper towel. That's what we see now. I'm gonna remove it. And we're just going to go ahead and close the printer, plug it back in, and go from there. So now the printer's turning on. After it's turned on, it's going to ask for for the um, for the ink cartridges. We're going to put those in and let it run the uh, ink replacement cycle and we'll print the nozzle check after that. 
is giving us this print head maybe clog message. So we're just going to ignore it by hitting OK. It's asking for some ink cartridges. We're just going to go ahead and install them. After you have done everything that I showed in this video, you should be able to uh, just go ahead and go to maintenance again and select the print head nozzle check and it should show uh, maybe partial sometimes a full one since it it, drained, it put the ink inside the print head already if it's still partial try running a uh, one clean print head cycle on the printer and you should be good um, it is okay to use uh, aftermarket ink i have tried many different um, ones that i bought on ebay and amazon for these printers and they were just fine uh, the problems with clock print head happens with uh, Epson ink as well. So it's, it's just <clears throat> a matter of uh, turning off the printer on time or printing at least one page in a week just to keep it going and making sure that all colors are good. If it's been sitting in your closet for a while, you may run into the problem that we had in the beginning. So uh, if you have this printer and it's already been used, uh, just keep using it so it doesn't dry up the ink in the nozzles. Thank you for watching.